BBC Radio State then at six minutes to eight. Uh, have you heard about the cinema, the new ABC in Longton? No. I, well, most people will think there's no ABC in Longton, Liz. <laughs> you got this wrong. There, there is. There is now, I think this is fascinating. In fact, I'm sure I've seen some, some pictures of this on the telly, on the news. Uh, it's a 34-seat auditorium built in the back garden of Anderson Jones. BBC Radio Stokes' Tim Wedgwood has taken some popcorn along. You've got your own cinema in your back garden. I sure have, yeah. So tell me how this came about. Oh, it goes back. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it goes back way when I was a little boy. Uh, I had a, well, my mum and dad and my granddad used to take me to the old cinemas, especially the ABC in Hanley. The one on Broad Street? Yeah. yeah I remember my, it well. My favourite cinema that was. Uh, I just remember the first time I went in and the, the sheer size of it, you know, you walked in and the auditorium was massive with a big curved room with the big red curtains and yeah. it was it was entertainment. How they used to put a show on was, was fantastic, you know, and all the adverts and trailers and then the Usher girl would come out and stuff and... I don't know, something just clicked in my head and I said to my granddad, look, wow, I'd love a cinema when I'm older. And then as I was growing up, I just kept Im imaging in my head how I'd build a cinema and stuff. And for a lot of people, a cinema at home these days constitutes like a 50-inch screen, doesn't it, in it the living does, room? Yeah. But you have just to, just to set the scene, you have gone above and beyond. You had to dig footings and foundations, you had to go underground so that it wasn't too high. You've built this incredible structure. You've got the big oak doors. You've got the signs now showing, coming soon. You've even got down to the finer detail. It can't be just anything. It had to be right. And I've had to source all the <clears throat> all the things from old cinemas, which I've been doing for over 30 odd years, you know, getting, collecting things together. And I wanted it to be right. Can we go and have a look? Yeah, can we? Can we? Oh, brilliant. Look, look at this as we go straight in. You've got the old, um, uh, you know, ticket yeah. machine yeah. here, the old pay box. Presumably, you know, you, 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 the old uh, pay cardboard yeah. tickets come out there, do Yeah, you? that's exactly the one from the ABC now, Lee. Is with, it? With the original ticket still in there. And really? if you have a look at the tickets, I've got the old ABC logo on the back oh, still, which that. you just can't get them anymore. That's incredible. How did you get that? Um, it came from the ABC. Um, what happened is one of my friends actually got that out before me um, and look, look, luckily he, he's given it to me. So Right, you know, amazing. Well, it's, it's here now, isn't it, for, for, for posterity. You've got the old Westless Hot Dogs. Remember the old Westless Hot Dogs advert as yeah. well? Yeah, and, and, the, and the popcorn and the sweet. You've got a little sweet shop here. Yeah. You've got the old-fashioned radiators and even the carpet as well yeah. just says cinema of old, ABC, doesn't it? ABC, yeah. This has been copied to the exact... Uh, ABC oh, so really? Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering to, to the actual auditorium, and there's no one in at the moment, so I'm not going to disturb anyone, are we? No. Um, before we get in there, if we can just go into this door here, I've always wanted to go into the projection room. Can we go in? Is that yeah. all right? Right up the stairs we go. Right. So wow, look at this. You've got, you've got the well. What is ultimately a, a cross between high tech and original film here? Haven't yeah, you? yeah, yeah. That's an original Cinemechanica Vic Four projector. Uh, which projects 35 mil what they had at the cinema or for all these years and unfortunately they've gone digital now but i have got a digital projector as well so i can play all the latest movies well you know you've got, have you got old Blu films to, 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 that you've collected over the years as well that you can I've play got, if you want i've got to. a couple yeah but the main thing that i've got is all the original trailers for all the films basically it's dead envious. It's really good. What do your friends and family say when they see it? Um, I think they're a bit shocked, to be honest with you. I've had, I've had friends crying like, just because they couldn't believe how good it was for the yeah. attention to detail. So, yeah. It's absolutely stunning. Right, OK, let's go into the, the most important part, of course, from, from a, a viewer perspective, and that is into the auditorium itself. And uh, so there you've got the red velvet curtain you've got the the lights can we can we take the best seat in the house what would you recommend is the best seat uh, in the on the back row in the middle the back row right back okay row. you sat in that seat in the abc and Hunt. yeah i had to make sure that that seat came out of there and that was my favorite seat so that's your seat yeah that's mine i tell you what you have absolutely nailed it you must be so proud oh i am sometimes i come and sit down here and think have i done all this this is wow it's, <laughs> it is it's just like being in a proper cinema a real what, labour of love. Oh yeah, I've I've worked around the clock. Uh, I used to go work all day, um, seventy odd hours a week. Come home and, and carry on again, and it was just around the clock. And your son Ethan's here, is that right? Yeah. Hello, Ethan. What what I, do you make of your dad's work here? I absolutely love it. Um, I can't believe what he's done, and uh, he's fulfilled his dream. And uh, we, the family, love it down here. Look, congratulations. 
Um, I, I think you know we're at the cinema, so you know the the lights the lights are dim. There's popcorn, there's hot dogs, there's ice creams. All we need now is a decent film to watch. Any Absolutely. recommendations? I'm hoping the first film will be Back to the Future, because the ABC in Bournemouth has just closed the other day, and I want to reopen mine with Back to the Future. Open oh, twenty one gigawatts, money. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> BBC Radio Stokes Tim Wedgwood in the back garden of Anderson Jones in Longton with his own ABC.